particular session on the innovation management and its principles, we will talking about the what to innovate, uh, understanding the innovation and its importance in and uh, also the process of the innovation and how the organizations can they can go for this innovation management. Uh, uh, we will also try to understand the innovation cycle uh, principles and as usual the case study, research papers, book recommendations and references. Innovation pro involves the creation of the product, service or the processes that is new to the organization. The technology or the product uh, need not to be novel or the groundbreaking and the innovation may be a change in industrial practice uh, which uh, improves the productivity. It does not uh, have to new to the world, um, rather it is uh, viewed as the first use of an idea within an organization. So, creativity is the engine of the innovation, the essence of the creativity is combining in the two or more ideas to arrive at an the entirely new one is there. The, it is a, if it when we talk about the importance of the innovation that is the why organization should go for these innovation, the first and foremost is the competitive advantages in the market, uh, loyal customers, uh, unique selling the proposition is there and uh, that is about the USP of the organization, enhance the brand values constant improvement, uh, attract the expert uh, talent, um, the growth and successes, creative age and the problem solving is there. Now, the question arises what to innovate, uh, uh, how you make the money, the, there is a profit model is there and how you connect with the others to create the values are there, uh, how you uh, also structure is organized and uh, align your talent and the assets are there and uh, how you do your signature or the superior method to do your work, uh, product performance, how you develop the distinguishing features and the functionality. Product system, you know, how you create the complementary products and the services, uh, how you support and uh, amplify the value of your offerings, uh, how you deliver your uh, uh, offerings to the customers and users that is the channels and the brand, how you represent your offerings and the business are there. And then how you are having this the foster compelling the interactions with the customer and increasing the customer engagement is there. When we talk about the innovation process, the 79 percent of the executives surveyed by the Boston Consulting Group ranked the innovation as a top three priority at their company. Yet, uh, the, despite uh, the perceived value, how to successfully bring a new product or service to the market is still a mystery to some entrepreneurs and the executives. In fact, the research shows that 40 percent of the new products and services fall. So, therefore, in that case turning an idea into reality requires the establishing an innovative process. That process forces you to think through the different steps to ensure you are solving the right problem, regularly gathering the customer feedback, iterating when necessary and securing the right resources and method to fully realize the innovation is there. There are three key phases in the innovation process and uh, that the every organization typically uh, cycle through the according to the median is there. Discovery. The discovery phase is the one companies uh, should spend more time and resources on. It is during this phase uh, that ideas are generated and the uh, vetted by the potential users and the where on the teams work to discover whether they are taking the uh, right problems or not. Uh, then Second one is the this is a where the ideation techniques such as brainstorming and the prototyping that can be used to a company advantage ideation the creative process of the generating new ideas is an important part of the design thinking process is there in which the organizations focus on uncovering the non obvious pain points uh, their customers are experiencing and developing the new products uh, services and the business models uh, aligned to their needs are there. The development in this uh, phase of the development where you start to spend the real money on design and engineering according to the uh, Marian. The development phase has uh, uh, changed the dramatically over the last 10 to 15 years uh, with the introduction of the collaborative and the digital design tools uh, and the rapid prototyping. Distributed teams, uh, the innovation ecosystem and the open innovation efforts uh, uh, that enables the aligned design ideation faster development cycles and the increased levels of the product complexity and the performance is there. 
step 3 is that is the commercialization. At the end of the development phase, the comes the commercialization where you are bringing your product or services to the market. This commercialization process uh, broken into the phases of its own from the initial introduction of a product or service in its mass production and adoption is there. As you move uh, through each uh, phase, uh, you will receive the uh, additional customer feedback and will need a regularly uh, refine your uh, offerings are there. So, Marian uh, recommends the companies uh, that explore the extended pilot uh, production, although the launch will be slower, the strategy provides uh, teams with the more time to wait and uh, problems and uh, enables them to gain real time information on the market acceptance is there. Companies and government agencies often make uh, the mistakes of the viewing innovation as a set of the unconstant activities with the uh, no disciplines in reality. For innovation to contribute to a company or the government agency, it needs to be designed as a process uh, from start to uh, deployment. So, companies and the government agencies often make uh, the mistake of the viewing innovation as a set of uh, unconstant activities uh, with no discipline in reality. For innovation to contribute to company or the government agency, it needs to be designed as a process uh, from start to the deployment is there. A canonical uh, lean innovation process inside a company or the government agency uh, would look something like this, uh, innovation sourcing. Over a period of a days, uh, group generations a list of problems, uh, ideas and technologies that might be worth uh, investing in. Um, uh, curation for a, a few days or even a week, uh, innovators uh, get out of their own offices and talk to the colleagues and the customers are there. Uh, it included the both and the internal and an external survey, the goal of which was to find uh, other places in the business vision where a given problem might exist in a slightly different form. To identify related internal projects already in existence uh, and to find the commercially available solutions to the problems. Uh, it also sought to identify the legal issues, uh, the security issues and the support issues are there. So, what your innovation process should look like, uh, so solution exploration and the hypothesis testing is there. The ideas that pass through the prioritization filter enter an incubation process and the, this 6 to 10 week uh, process delivers evidence for the definable database decisions for the each idea. The innovation team fits out a business model or for the government mission model uh, that is canvas. So, everything on that canvas is a hypothesis and the ICOP model is designed to test the each one is there. When we talk about the prioritization, once a list of the innovation ideas has been refined a curation, it needs to be the prioritized one of these uh, quickest ways to sort innovation ideas is to use the McKinsey's three horizons model. Now, horizon one ideas provide the continuous innovation to a company's existing business model and the core capabilities. Horizon 2 ideas extend a company's existing business model and the core capabilities to every new customers markets of their targets are there. Horizon 3 is the creation of the new capabilities to take advantage of or the respond to the disruptive opportunities or the disruption is there. So, we would add a new category Horizon O which refers to a graveyard's uh, uh, ideas that are not viable to the or feasible. Incubations once the hypothesis testing is complete, uh, many projects will still need a period of incubation as the teams championing um, the projects uh, gather additional data uh, about the ap application. Further build the MVP and get used to the working together. The incubation requires uh, dedicated leadership oversight from the Horizon organization to ensure the, uh, the fielding project does not die of the malnutrition, a lack of the access to the resources or becomes uh, uh, an uh, orphan, no parent to guide them. Next is the integration and the refracting is there. At this point, it is the innovation in Horizon 1 or 2, it is time to integrate it into the existing organization. Horizon 3 innovations are more likely status than their own in, uh, uh, entities or the least divisions. Trying to integrate the new uh, unbudged and the unscheduled innovation projects into an uh, engineering organization that has been the, uh, the item budget for the people and resources results in the chaos and uh, frustration. 
in addition innovation projects carry both technical and organizational depth is there. So, innovation management includes tools uh, that allow managers and workers to users to uh, cooperate with a common understanding of the processes and the goals uh, and goals. Innovation management allows the organization to respond to external or the internal opportunities and uses its uh, creativity uh, to introduce the new ideas, processes or the products are there. By utilizing the innovation management tools, management can uh, trigger and deploy the creative capabilities of the workforce uh, for the continuous development of an organization. Broadly speaking, innovation can be uh, incremental breakthrough or the disruptive is there. Now, we will talk about the in incremental um, uh, innovation. It is an era where the businesses are required to constantly reinvent the themselves, uh, incremental innovation helps them uh, uh, thrive by the uh, constantly improving the current uh, product services, processes uh, or the methods are there. Now, here when we are talking about uh, this is the technology here newness and when the business model newness is there. So, in incremental uh, innovation we find that is a business model uh, uh, newness when it is low and the technology newness is also low, then it will going through the incremental innovation is there. When business model newness is going to be low and the technology newness is going to be high, then it will be the breakthrough innovation will be there. Because we are bringing the technology newness, uh, however, the business model newness is, uh, is low is there. Whenever we are talking about the breakthrough innovation, our business model newness that is the high and uh, but uh, the technical technology newness and that is the low. So, therefore, in that case uh, because the business model newness and the low technology is there, so it will be the breakthrough innovations will be there. So, and when, when our the business model newness is high and uh, the uh, technology uh, newness is also high, then we, it will be giving you the radical innovations are there. Now, here we have to understand that is this business model newness and technology newness both are required with this particular innovations are concerned. Now, uh, a breakthrough innovation refers to the technology advancement that can boost the level of a product or service uh, within an existing category ahead of its the competitors are there. When we talk about the disruptive or the radical, then the disruptive innovations are ideas uh, that are capable of radically changing the market behavior after being implemented is there. So, the, uh, as we have seen that is for the breakthrough, you know, innovation refers to the advancements uh, that can boost the level of products or services uh, existing category ahead of its the competitors are there. Now, innovation cycle management uh, we will talk about that is the full implementation and the ideation is there. So, the, here we will find out uh, that is the full implementation of the uh, these uh, sources will be identification of uh, about this uh, how we are able to implement implement uh, the our uh, uh, this idea. So, first and foremost uh, step one will be that is about the ideation is there that is how the uh, brainstorming sessions are there and then the ideas are created maybe by the individual maybe by the group identify the valuable and the viable ideas are there. Uh, and so, there will be the number of ideas those ideas will be filtered and then we will come to the valuable and the viable ideas are there. Now, we create the prototype products and the tests are there on basis of this idea which are the acceptable we will going for this type of the prototype or products and development is there and this will create finally, the full implementation is there. Now, we will see that is the how innovation cycle um, is working with the innovation management principles are there. So, first and foremost is the realization of the value is there. Now, we have to understand that is the whatever the innovations uh, we are talking about uh, whether there is a value for that or not. Uh, so, we will like when we always keep on saying value for money, similarly the value for worth of the innovation is very, very important. 
Now, I would like to give an example. Then, when we are talking about the new generation technology, and then uh, uh, the parallel researches are going on. Uh, uh, for example, when we are talking about the pager technology, and mobile technology was there. Mobile technology has taken over the all these uh, pager technology is there. So, question arises that is a value for the realization of value, and that should be very much important is there. Now, we have talked about that is the our uh, USP is to be finalized and the USP will be finalized on the basis of the future focused uh, orders are there that is the what will be the future focus uh, is there and accordingly we will plan that uh, 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 what I would like to take the example like here that is uh, when we talk about the future focus leaders then we can take the example of the uh, Apple company and therefore, uh, the every innovation which has been uh, coming out. Uh, uh, is uh, giving us the, the future uh, uh, focus leadership is there about that particular uh, uh, product or the particular technology is concerned. For this uh, uh, particular future focus uh, the innovation achievement, it is necessary that we are giving the our uh, the team, the, the innovation team should get their strategic uh, uh, direction is very much important. So, that the all the stakeholders, uh, those who are responsible for the innovation are working into the common directions are there. Mm, then every organization is having its culture and some organizations are having the innovation culture. That culture of innovation that is to be uh, created within the organization like example, the Sony is concerned. We always talk about that is the it is a innovative culture is there. Now, this innovative culture innovative cultness culture will be the focus on that is in the employees in the managers right from the top management to the bottom management uh, uh, how um, the, those practices are encouraged. Uh, for example, idea generation is there and when basis of that particular idea uh, you you are accepting that idea from that particular person and then getting implemented into the organization is concerned. Then the exploring the insights are there that is the um, our strengths and weaknesses. So, um, when we talk about uh, the uh, insights, uh, then please we have to understand that is the uh, we have to do the uh, uh, SWOT or the TWAS of the uh, organization. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, when we are talking about uh, this particular aspect. Uh, uh, then definitely in that case uh, we will be going for uh, this uh, uh, the uh, this particular uh, uh, the threat and weaknesses uh, both. So, therefore, in that case um, if we are going by this uh, SWOT analysis, we will be explo um, exploiting the insights are there that is the what are the uh, our strengths and weaknesses are there. Uh, here we have to also understand because we we talking about the strategic direction and then managing the uncertainty is there. Now, the strategic directions are taken much in advance uh, and uh, but uh, with the period of time there might be the required to change your direction uh, in spite of the left you may require to go to the right. Uh, then in that case uh, uh, you have to the managing the uncertainty is to be there on the basis of your internal and external environmental factors. Uh, so, these environmental factors uh, which will be creating within the organization that will be depending upon uh, the your social, political, economical changes uh, and especially as we have seen in the previous session that is the uh, technological changes. Whenever there are the technological changes are there then the uncertainty that is increasing. So, nowadays the, the, the topmost challenge uh, into the uncertainty and that is a technological uh, uh, changes are there. Uh, now, whatever the challenges you identify 1, 2, 3 uh, then these challenges that has to be adoptable by the organization. Uh, it will depend upon the what type of this uh, technology generation you are having and uh, your employees, the people, those who are used to the what level of uh, um, this particular technological uh, changes. If uh, they are highly skilled, your human capital is strong, then definitely adaptable structures will be developed very fast. Otherwise, uh, why innovation fails? Uh, now, there is a need for this particular technology and here the, uh, the adaptation is not possible because our uh, the manpower is not that strong into that particular technology or that knowledge or that skills. Uh, so, therefore, in that case um, it becomes uh, very difficult uh, to make this. Uh, however, we are knowing what type of the technology is to be developed, but still uh, our organization is not uh, 
uh, ready for that. So, readiness for the change, readiness for that particular technology um, that, that, that will create the minimizing of the uncertainty is there and adaptable structure will be developed. Uh, those organizations who are faster into the developing this uh, adaptable structure, they are really becoming the innovative leaders. Uh, on basis of all this homework, um, you will develop a system approach, uh, a practice will be developed and that practice will create uh, this type of these uh, uh, emotions uh, where the, they will talk about that is uh, how we can develop a systematic approach is there. Now, we will discuss all these points into the detail. So, value financial or the uh, uh, non-financial is there, mm, is realized from the deployment, adoption and impact of the new or change solutions for the interested parties are there. So, uh, here we have, uh, especially here the interested parties will be the top management and the management are the stakeholders, uh, whether they are uh, um, re having that uh, uh, realization of value or not. Now, for example, if you are making the changes into the uh, um, gen, gen of the technology, then definitely in that case, uh, that realization of value has to be acceptable by the stakeholders are there. Now, whenever these uh, leaders are there and they, they are driven by the curiosity and courage uh, and the challenge is the status quo by building an inspiring vision and the purpose and by continuously engaging people to uh, achieve those aims are there. So, uh, here it is a strength, strength is of that is your leaders, uh, those who are at the driving seat into the organization and they, they are ready and they are, they are having that vision that is uh, they, they have to make these particular changes uh, and they accept the challenges and they make sure that is organization is does not getting these uh, left behind rather than it is competing with the current technology. Then the strategy for this purpose the strategic directions are required, innovation activities is based on the aligned and the shared objectives. Now, we have seen that is the, uh, the organizational objective, vision, mission statements uh, that has to be shared by the all. If somebody does not take the ownership for that, then definitely it will be very difficult for an organization to be an innovative organization. And uh, here the relevant uh, ambition and the support uh, is required by the people, those who are the all stakeholders involved into this particular change management process are making the organization as an innovative organization is concerned. These are uh, the practices. Uh, a, a phenomena with the shared values, beliefs and behaviors, then supporting openness to the change that will be taking the risk and the collaboration enable the coexistence of the creativity and the effective execution is there. And uh, then the, this exploiting the insights are there and the resources which are to be going to be the used, uh, they have to be systematically built insightfulness knowledge to exploit the, the uh, stated and uh, unstated needs are there. Um, here as I mentioned about the managing the uncertainty in the introduction of managing the uncertainty I talked about uncertainties and risk are evaluated, leveraged and then managed by the learning from the systematic uh, experimentation and uh, uh, there will be the iterative process within the portfolio of the opportunities are there. Now here um, this adaptability changes in the context of the organic or the addressed uh, by timely adaptation of the structure, process, competence uh, and the value realization models to maximize the innovation capabilities are there. This system approach innovation management is based on a, a system approach with uh, interrelated and interacting elements and regular performance evaluation and the improvement of the system is there. Because unless and until uh, there is not a, a system is developed into the organization, the organizations cannot be the successful in the pockets. So, therefore, some pockets uh, maybe the marketing is there, maybe the production is there, but still unless and until the all other divisions they are not supporting, then definitely in that case it will be very difficult uh, for the organizations uh, to be more and more the competitive and the successful will be there. Now, I would like to talk about uh, this particular uh, case study uh, about the Amazon.com and the here we find that is the uh, Jay Bezos use of the internet to sell books can probably be regarded as a quantum innovation in this industry. However, innovations at the Amazon.com has not stopped there. Bezos and his top management team have engaged uh, in a series of incremental innovations uh, to grow and expand the Amazon's core. So, competencies is an online retailer, although the Bezos initially chose to focus on the selling books, uh, you know, he soon realized that the Amazon's information technology could be used to sell other kinds of the products also. He began to search for the 
products uh, that could be sold uh, profitably over the internet is there. Nowadays, we are talking about uh, uh, that is Amazon is coming out with the, the, the groceries are there and therefore, in that case uh, and even the daily routine uh, the items which are required including the grains and all and that is also possible to go for the Amazon is there. So, here we have to understand that is the um, here we, we have uh, to explore uh, the companies like uh, the Amazon that is uh, what are the uh, their is a profitability over the internet is there by adopting this particular system or method and that value addition that has to be achieved. Uh, first is choose to series when over when DVDs uh, became the popular Amazon began to sell them is there. So, uh, today Amazon also has uh, online uh, storefronts of offering music and the video downloads of uh, all kinds and gives it to the customers the opportunity to store their purchases online through its uh, expansion into the cloud computing services. All these new goods and services uh, reflect its desire to offer the widest range of the products possible to attract the, the customers and uh, especially to encourage the repeat the business uh, so that uh, then can continue in its mission to become the biggest global book uh, music and the video video store. In other ventures Amazon has opened a holiday gift store to entire customers to send gifts as well as the books and DVDs uh, as presents uh, offered a gift wrapping service uh, and launched a free electronic greetings card service to the announce the arrival of the Amazon gift uh, today. Today it has over 40 different uh, product uh, uh, storefronts are available. Bezos has moved the, uh, aggressively to use the Amazon's uh, developing uh, expertise in the virtual storefront uh, retailing to offering a consulting service to organization that wish to develop its own customer. Friendly sh short front that we made Amazon to popular, it has also used its uh, IT competence to widen its products uh, line is there. So, therefore, we have to understand that is the here uh, the Amazon has seen its uh, core competency and to keep its line up to the data uh, with regard to the uh, ongoing changes electronics and the digital technology that are constantly uh, 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 altering the mix of products uh, is often to use its uh, virtual store. As a result of these increment uh, innovations to the Amazon's business, uh, Bezos has transformed his company from online bookseller to the leading internet product uh, producer is there. The company's share price has uh, uh, soared in the 2010s. Uh, the Amazon has become the most profitable online retailer and in investors believe the company has left skill and uh, competencies to retain uh, and strengthen its uh, dominant positions. The fact that it has uh, overtaken eBay in recent years to become the online uh, retail uh, uh, storefront of these uh, uh, choice also suggests that the, in the next uh, challenge will be to take on the Walmarts uh, as it expands its uh, uh, storefronts to offer the customers uh, uh, more products and services including the delivery of the thousands of uh, different uh, um, kinds of these uh, food products uh, and the flowers, uh, toiletries and the other kinds of the basic uh, consumer uh, goods are there. This is the research paper, uh, the evolution of the uh, innovation management towards the contextual innovation. Um, in recent uh, uh, decades, uh, innovation management, the change this article provides an uh, overview of the changes uh, that have taken place. Uh, focusing on the innovation management in large companies uh, with the aim of the expanding that uh, uh, innovation management has evolved towards a, a, a contextual uh, approach uh, uh, which it will be explained and uh, uh, the illustrate uh, among the uh, using these uh, two cases are there. So, here we find that is the uh, this is uh, related to the existing literature innovation management research and development which you can go through this particular paper and you will find that is the finding of this particular uh, uh, the research um, it will be talking about that is the what type of the organization respectively how that has far been the investigated further separately. So, here we find out that is the, the practical and scientific value of this paper is to that uh, that describes an integrated approach to the contextual innovations are there. 
this is the another research paper principles for the innovation management uh, in the family forms is there and this paper uh, reveals a considerable uh, heterogeneity in their innovation behavior and due to the successful long term uh, perceptions of their innovative capacity via the special uh, resources and the routines. Uh, uh, multi generation of IT uh, are of the, the special interest in terms of the learning from the good practices are there. Um, here the findings of, of this paper that will also encourage you to use to the derive practical suggestions to understand that is how there are the different uh, principles uh, which was uh, a form of the 11 principles for the FF taking a proactive interest uh, in the innovations are there. This paper uh, will be giving you the uh, value uh, that is the how the innovations uh, that are based on the uh, innovation um, uh, principles uh, that they are making the organization more competitive is there. This is the book uh, building the innovative organization management systems uh, that encourage the innovation. I am sure this book written by the James A. Christian Insane when you will refer uh, you, you will be able to uh, understand more in details about the innovative organizations is there and the findings of this book uh, that will be helping you that is how to make the change management practices to be the more innovative is there and how to take the leadership uh, for bringing the changes into the organizations are there. These are the references, you can go into the details of these references and uh, find out uh, the different uh, innovation principles and practices and uh, uh, the how to create an innovative organization. So, by going through this particular literature, I am sure you will be able to understand uh, how to make your organization as an innovative organization is there. Thank you.